Good evening, good evening. Gabriela, hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm good, very good. I'm, I'm home. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Just, ¿cómo sería llegando? Arriving. Just arriving. Good evening. Just arriving. <sighs> what time did you finish working today? Mm, at Yeah. At 6 p.m.? Okay. Yeah. Today was a long day, but a good day, a really good day. <laughs> oh, really? Good for sales? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah I sell a lot. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, so you're happy, happy. you are satisfied? Mm, not yet. I need to sell more. Yeah, but that mean I mean from this day you are satisfied of what you did today. Yeah, yeah, I'm satisfied. I'm sorry. I'm satisfied. Okay. Okay, so you, oh, you haven't had dinner yet. No, not yet. Later. Um, yeah, that's bad, that's bad. Yeah. Well, it's not a problem. It's not a problem for you? No, because sometimes I eat more later. Okay. Later, just later. Simplemente yeah. decimos later. Okay. Yeah, later. <clears throat> so, but, <laughs> I'm just waiting. Because, eh, ¿cómo sería? Bueno. Acaban de ir a comprar la cena. <laughs> oh, really? Don't yeah. tell me it's going to be pupusas. No, pizza. Oh, oh pizza. No, I have pizza for lunch. <laughs> no, I eat. Mm, I ate. I ate for my lunch. Eh, molleja. ¿Cómo sería en inglés? Sweet bread. Sweet bread. ¿Cómo? Sweet bread. Oye, ¿cómo you said. Sweet bread. Yep. Okay. Oh, you like them? Yeah, I like. <laughs> My boyfriend no. Like. My bro, my boyfriend doesn't. Doesn't like. Um, well, but the good thing is that you don't have a problem. You eat what you like and he eats what he likes. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. That's great. And your day? My day, my day. Well, you know, last night I had a problem with the video of the class. Really? Uh, yeah, for a moment the video stopped. And so I had to, the, the recording was divided in four pieces. So oh. last night I had to, to join them together to make just one whole video. Uh, the process of joining them uh, finished at 3 a.m. And oh. then, and then I had to upload the video to 
YouTube. It took me one hour more. So I went to bed at 4.15. And what time did and, you... And I yeah. woke up quarter to six. Ah. So right now I have just left uh, one hour and a half. Oh, that's bad. Nah, a little bit. No, you know what's bad? That today, today is one of the few days that I have an afternoon off. I had a free afternoon today. Uh -huh. But I, I couldn't sleep. <gasps> Why? <clears throat> I don't usually sleep during the day. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm not used to. And sometimes if I sleep during the day, I get headache and it's very uncomfortable to me. So I haven't slept that much. Okay. Well. Yeah. That's life. You are really tired. A little bit, to be honest, a little bit. I mean, big words, just a little bit. But nothing to worry. Okay. And right now I am, uh, well, today in the afternoon I was checking how to say everything because tomorrow I start classes at the university again. Oh. My semester. Oh, and I... Well. And I got three classes tomorrow, so it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> uh, <heavy. laughs> yes. I yes. have a question. Tell me. Well, I finished uh, all the homework. You finished the homework from the platform? Yeah. Mm, let me check. Gabriela. I can do the final exam? Or... Yes, yes, you can do it now. Okay. I mean, that's not a problem. Oh, yeah, I was checking. Yeah, you are just missing the final exam. Yeah. Yeah, I have. I have a little issue with some of your classmates. Let's see, like, um, yeah. How can I say, estaba esperando? So I can... was, I was waiting for. Uh -huh. What were you waiting for? Estaba esperando? Oh, no, no, no. I told you the other day, you can, you can use it. You can. Yes, yes, you can do it. No problem. Pero como le puedo decir que yo estaba esperándolo para pedirle la autorización. I was waiting for you to authorize. I was waiting for you authorize. To authorize me. To, uh, to out. Can you repeat this? <clears throat> okay. Actually, there's there's different ways to say that. A different manera. One way could be like this. The very formal way to be like, I was waiting for you to author, authorize me to do the exam. Not to do, yeah, to do the exam. You can also say it like this. I was waiting for your get go. <clears throat> This is more informal. I was waiting for you get go. For your get go. 
for your that's, get, get up. Yeah, but that's very, very informal. Okay. But yeah, I was waiting for you. Because I wasn't really sure. Sometimes I lost in the class. Like I don't worry. It's normal. It's normal that happens. Yeah, Rebecca told me, Gabby, you know more than me. Tell me. Tell me. The answer and, and, and me. Yeah, but I mean, uh, it's it's just that some some things are different. You gotta remember that, and and I mean, it's not uh, all the same. The it's not all the time the same. Well, hello. Carolina. Nice having you here and welcome. Thank you, teacher. It's a pleasure. Always it's a oh, pleasure. Pleasure is mine. Braulio, hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening, teacher. I'm good fine. Evening. Okay, tell me, how was your day? Um, I'm fine. I'm working. You're always working, my friend. Uh, what? You are always working. Siempre está trabajando. Yes, yes, yes. I, I always, uh, I, I, I working. Uh, salgo uh, a las cinco. A five o'clock. Y me tocó preparar bebidas para las diferentes farmacias. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you've been busy. Yes, yes. Well, yes. that's great. That's great. It's always good to be busy. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 What? I am, okay, it's like this, look. I am already home. I am already home, yes. Uh, I drink a coffee, teacher. No sé si cuando digo estoy tomando café. I am drinking eh, coffee. I am drinking coffee. I am drinking coffee. Remember sí, that you are okay. saying you are saying in this moment. Está diciendo de algo que en este momento. So okay. in that case you use this. I am. I am drinking. Drink. coffee. I am drinking coffee. How are you, teacher? Uh, fine, fine. Just a little bit of a headache, but something. Something's very light. Leve, leve, dolor. It's... Uh, actually, this is because of... Hmm, 
que están ya casi de, de vacation, casi de vacaciones. Yeah. Yeah, almost vacation, but ah, it's hard. This week is going to be hard. I am, right now, I am, in este momento, I am, sleep, deprived. Okay. That means, that means, uh, that means, eso quiere decir que estoy, See, it's one S or two S. But I am sleepless. Uh, sleep significa? Sleepless, desvelado. Desvelado. Uh, okay. Yeah, I am sleepless uh, right now. It's a little bit tired. I am a little bit tired, you know. The situation is, la situación es, that uh, how can I explain to you? The situation is that last night I didn't sleep. La situación es que no dormí. I couldn't sleep last night. Well, I slept just one hour and a half. I slept. I, I slept only one hour and a half. It means solamente dormí una hora y media. That's the situation. Yeah, I couldn't sleep enough last night, but that happens, you know, once in a while. It, the good thing is that it was an insomnia. It was because uh, uh, I had a problem with the, with the video and I was making some modification to it. But uh, took me almost all night long. Me llevo casi toda la noche. Mm. Va a necesitar coffee, teacher. Mm, no. No. Okay. To be okay. honest with you, that's the worst thing I could do. Eso sería lo peor que podría hacer yo. If I take mm -hmm. a coffee right now, si me llevo a tomar un café ahorita, I get sleepy. Me da sueño. Because, yeah, because uh, coffee uh, relaxes me. El café me va a relajar. That's mm -hmm. the problem. Oh, okay. Teacher, uh, y your family? What about them? Hey, they just went to me. What, what you mean? What's the question? Your family, your family, how is it? Oh, how's, how's your family? How? How is your family? Your family, okay. How is your family? How is your family? Yep. Okay. How is your family? Entonces, teacher. Yep. How is your family? Oh, they are just fine, uh, just fine, you know. I'm... What about yours? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, I'm that's... Con, con my mother. 
Well, it's nice to know that they are fine. Qué bueno saber que están bien. Yes, teacher. Teacher, una, cons una consultita. El siguiente módulo siempre nos daría la clase de usted o sería otro maestro. Most probably, lo más probable is that it's going to be another teacher. Which is good for you. ¿Cuál sería bueno? Because, I mean, uh, at your level right now, en el nivel que ustedes están, uh, you really need to get different accents. The problem is that if you stay too long with me at this level, you will get used just to my accent. And remember that I am, a, a, I mean, my first language is Spanish. Si ustedes se quedan mucho tiempo conmigo, se quizá se acostumbrarían demasiado a mi acento. And in this level, at the level you are right now, you need to listen different people speaking in English. Mm -hmm. Ustedes necesitan escuchar diferentes acentos. To get ah, used to okay. different, because if you go to the state, you're going to listen to different people. I mean, you can listen to people speaking like me, or perhaps you will be able to listen to some people speaking like me. That's a different accent. Or like, uh, 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 or perhaps you could get to listen to another people speaking like that. You see, that's different. And I mean, to be able to, to notice and to identify when people is speaking in different accent, it's an ability that you get right at the beginning. Esta habilidad es mejor que la lleven desde el inicio. Because I mean, uh, uh, so for you, the best will be if they change me. Lo mejor sería si, if they are alternate you with different teachers. When you get to the advanced levels, it's that's not a problem. That's not a problem because of the of the nature of the levels. I mean, the situation is different but sí, right now como, it's better teacher usted como como evalúa el avance de nosotros en este primer oh I was I was telling you the other day te lo mencionaba el otro día eh, you are doing quite well vamos bastante bien I mean you have uh, according to the exercises if you notice something eh, in the very first classes until the middle of the second week, I was speaking a lot in Spanish. And if you realize it now, uh, in the classes, the Spanish I use is just a couple of words. Most of the class is full English. And you understand it because I give instructions and you follow the instruction. We interact. We are having this conversation, Braulio, in English. And I mean, you don't understand everything, but you understand a little bit and you can communicate with me. And that's that's the main goal of this module for you to feel confident to try to communicate. So we are doing good. We are mm -hmm. doing pretty good. So don't feel oh, bad for that. We are, we are okay, thank we you. are okay. No, thanks to you and welcome. Let's see who else is around. Karen Desiree, hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Karen. Where are you, Karen? You home? Yes, I'm home. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's great. Oh, yes. <laughs> what time did you get home today? Today is 9.7.30. At 7.30? At 7.30, yes. Oh my gosh. So you just arrived. Sorry? Acaba de llegar. Yes. And 30, up before or after? Eso no 30 minutes antes de la clase, no dice. Okay, 30 minutes before. Uh, 
very linear big color. Thirty minutes before class. You answer to me, yes, thirty minutes before class. Okay. And tell me, how was your day? Oh, my day is. <laughs> my so day so. was. Why so so? Because in the morning and the meeting there at eight eight a.m. and twelve medium after uh, came back to no went back let's see went, went back. back to the office okay there's a difference here and i will explain it to you Karen. okay uh, Hay una diferencia que se le explico. Just give me a second. Right now you are in your house, right? Ahorita usted está en casa. Entonces usted me está contando. I went What? back. I went back to the office. Ok. Ahora, mm -hmm. si usted estuviese en la oficina todavía, tendría que decirme, I came back to the, to the office. I came. Came back. I went back es regresé, pero yo estoy en un lugar y regresé a otro lugar. I came back es al lugar en el que estoy. Como por ejemplo, usted me dice, oh, I left my home, salí de casa. I left home early in the morning. Salí de casa temprano por la mañana. Y usted me dice, mm -hmm. and I came back at 7.30. Y regresé mm -hmm. al lugar donde está en este momento. You get it? ¿Me okay. capta la diferencia? Yes, I can. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you. Interesting talking to you. Thank you. And welcome. Ah, it's great, it's great. Let's see who else is around. <laughs> Atenas, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. How was your day? Um, my day was in checking to a a.m. Mm -hmm. I went. I went to the. Ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores. Oh, really? Eh, Oficialía Mayor and Bank. Okay, what did you do at Ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores? I wonder, me pregunto. Um, apostilla. Okay. Apostilla de documentos. Yeah, I know what you mean. No sé cómo se pronunciaría. I don't know, I don't remember the... the, the the exact term. Dice lo que es, pero no recuerdo el término exacto en inglés. Okay, and give a legal advice. Um, I drop a contract. And I check out to 6 p.m. Okay. So you were busy. How was the bank? It's normal. <laughs> okay. Because going to the bank is terrible. Yes. It's always terrible. Okay. 
Apostil. Apostil. Uh, apostil. If I'm not mistaken, it's to it is to add an observation to a document, right? No, 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 no. If I am not mistaken, oh, look, I am telling you. If I am not mistaken, si no estoy errado, it is to, to add an observation. Es agregar una observación, right? No. La apostilla es la, es la auténtica de la firma de... Okay. Okay, yeah, and then it's an authentication. No, because in 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 oral speech, it is to add an observation. Oh. But in this case, you say that it's a, 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 a it's an authentication. It's mm -hmm. darle valor al document. Yeah. Okay, well, interesting. So you were very busy. Yes. Yes, teacher. Well, the good thing is that you're home already and you can relax a little bit. Right? Right. Excellent, excellent. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you for being here. Okay, let's see. Ana Maritza, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Uh, uh, pretty day. A what? Yes. A heavy day. Un día pesado. No, a pretty, pretty. Oh, really? A pretty day? Yes. That's nice. Um, we have breakfast, day breakfast, desayuno. Oh, breakfast. At okay. Grand beer. Oh, nice. What do you have for breakfast? Tell me. ¿Qué desayuno? And um, we the bed sailor. A what? Uh, tuvimos un desayuno con los mejores vendedores. Oh, okay. What did you have for breakfast? ¿Qué desayuno? Um, es creer. Croat sandwich. Oh, un croissant. The coffee. That's nice. The coffee. A cup of coffee. A cup yes. of coffee. Oh. Oh, that's great. What else? Just that. Solamente. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Well, nice. And tell me, what about the rest of the day? If you were on the Excuse me? What was the rest of, what about the rest of the day? ¿Qué tal el resto del día? What did you do? Um, luego, reunión. Reunión en oficina. Oh, really? Yes. Um, hasta las cinco que salimos, cinco y media. Mm. How long was your meeting? ¿Qué tan larga estuvo su reunión? Productiva, ¿cómo se dice? Oh, it was productive. It was productive. It is what productive? Productive. It was 
productive. He was product, product, productive. Perfect. Thank you. Well, welcome, Ana Maritza. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Okay, guys, let me get the attendance. I have forgotten totally. Ana Maritza Flores Servillon. Present. Angélica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present, teacher. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Thank you, Brian. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. I saw Claudia, wow. You'll be Claudia for the team. He tells he's in traffic. Oh. Elisa Saray Martinez Ramirez. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vasquez Silva. Thank you, Esmeralda. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Salias. Present. Karen de Sigue Menjibar de Sánchez. Present. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Present. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present, teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present, teacher. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rebecca. Sorry, I, when I was texting you, you were connecting. Perdón, yo le estaba pidiendo y usted se conectó. And sí. Victor Manuel Reyes Carvajal and Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present teacher. Welcome, Xiomara. Nice having you here. Okay, great. We are almost got full farms. Good evening, good evening. So let's see, um, Angelica. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Very Hello, good. my dear. How's everything? Uh, good. 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 Yes. Uh, good. With lluvia, rain. With rain. With rain. All afternoon. Yeah. It was it was nice. I like it when it rains. Yes. But in cells down. It's no good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I can imagine that for sales it's not good. Yeah. yeah, but what can we do? And what time did you finish working? Uh, finish uh, six, uh, six, 15, six, six, 15. 6.15, okay. Yes. Okay, well, the good thing is that you're here and ready to start the class. Welcome very much. Thank you. No, thanks to you, thanks to you. Gracias a usted. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Rebecca, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. I'm so so. Why so I so? I am tired. I am tired. tired. Really? I am, I am just 
arriving. I am just arriving. Perfect. Great, great. Yeah, you know, I don't understand how you can be tired. You know, Athena's was telling me five minutes ago, Rebecca, Rebecca doesn't work. That's what she told me. I don't know. Sí, I don't... Sí, trabajo. <laughs> nah, Athena told me she doesn't do nothing all day long. Mira, ni me mira, todavía cargo los. Just for the picture, just for the picture. Eres solo para la foto. Uh, heavy day, I imagine. Yeah, but you know. When is your day off, Rebecca? Um, ¿Qué hice? O, sí, no. O, ¿Cómo me fue? No. When is your day off? Oh, ¿cuándo me descanso? Exactly. Um, de este domingo. Bueno, me olvido cómo se dice. De este domingo al otro. Tengo Ouch. Sí. Eh, ¿Quiero ver? ¿Yesterday? ¿O uh -huh. cómo se dice? Eh, fue mi day off. My gosh. Yes. Oh, you are busy. You are quite busy. Yeah, well, anyway, you know, what can we do? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Así es. Pero, gracias a Dios. Hay trabajo. <laughs> yeah. You are completely right. Welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Let's see, Maria Teresa. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Um, I'm fine, teacher. Okay, how was your day? Um, very well. And what did you do today? Mm, today, today was my, was my, my day off. Um, ah. I, left, I, <laughs> I left home early, and but I had a meeting in San Starbucks. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow, so you were busy. Yes. Um, a little tired. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se dice por el viaje? Because of the cause of the trip. Bueno, depende. Formal o informal. Formal, you say it like this. Look. Mm. Uh, formal, you say because of the trip. Because of the trip, of the, the trip. Okay, all, remember that all. F, cuando solo es una F, all, uh -huh. of the trip. Of or the... you can say it informally, cause, cause of cause. the trip, cause. Uh -huh. Cause, yeah. okay. Okay, well. Yeah, traveling can be like that. Viajar puede ser así. I mean, traveling far, it's sometimes it's like that, that you feel like, ah, oh, too tired. Yes. Yes, teacher. 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 Yes, well, no, in my case, I love it when it's like that. I mean, I'm thankful for this. Sí, se duerme mejor. Relaja, la lluvia relaja. Yes, it does. 
it's relaxing. But uh, I will see, I will see, because when I am like I am today, it takes longer for me to get to sleep. For me, it's weird, you know. Uh, when I have one day that I don't sleep well, the next day is hard for me to to sleep properly. Un día no duermo bien, la siguiente noche me cuesta conciliar el sueño. I don't know why. Mm. Imagínense, hoy tuve que salir a las a las tres de la mañana. A Say la what? Yes. At 3 a.m. Okay. Look, María Teresa. At 3 a.m. I was still awake. Yo no me había acostado. Ay, no me creo. I went to sleep at 4.15. Oh, my God. And I woke up at 5.45. Cinco, cinco cuarenta. Ay, yes. no. Qué pesado. <laughs> so I sleep, I slept one hour and a half. No, but I'm okay. I feel fine. Está acostumbrado. <laughs> no es nada. Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm old, you know. It, it takes, oh, I got a phrase for you. Nice phrase. Yes. It takes it's um uh, let's see look at that phrase it takes its toll yeah. it takes its toll mm -hmm. and in this case uh how can i say this in spanish um pasa factura Sí, sí. And it takes its toll. And remember, I am old. How old are you? I'm sorry for asking. How old are you, Maria Teresa? Excuse me, teacher. How old are you? Oh, yeah. It's because of the question. Yo creo que esta es la pregunta. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. ¿Cuántos años tengo? Yep. Mm -hmm. I... I am, I am 30, 30, 32 years old. Oh, you're a kilo, a chiquito. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I am 42. Pero, pero parezco de 15. <laughs> oh, cool, that's the attitude, that's the attitude. <laughs> no, but hay que, hay que, hay que darse mentir uno solo. <laughs> No, oh, no, that's the attitude. I mean, that's what you gotta do. That's great. That's great. It was nice. Hey, Maria Teresa, welcome. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. So now that I realize that I have teenagers here, let's see. Another teenager with whom to talk. Uh, uh, uh. Xiomara, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm just fine. Just fine. You know, same old story. Working as usual. And how was your day? Okay, teacher. Perdón, me sacó la señal. How was your day? Um... um... My day is, um, me levanté tempranito, eh, ya escuchamos algunas opiniones de nuestros compañeros que algunos madrugamos para ir a, a celebrating un breakfast en Coffee Cup. Oh, yeah. In, uh -huh, with the best in sales the meeting. Yeah, that was with great, right? That's great, isn't it? That's so bueno. I is with management making Excel painting performing pending tasks to deliver. 
Me okay, escucharon. Well, yes, we did. Este, eh, luego después a reunión con gerencia y pues hicimos allí este, unos making in Excel, en painting, performing, pending test. You were very busy. Mm -hmm. Muy ocupada. You were very, very busy. Well, that's nice. It's always nice to be busy. No, no escuché bien, teacher. Siempre es bueno estar ocupado. Mi conexión me dice inestable. Okay. I am telling you, le estoy diciendo. Uh, it is always good to be busy. Oh my gosh, what I was. I'm sorry. It is always good to be busy. Excuse me, teacher, me sacó el, el, el internet. Don't worry, don't worry. No problem. I was telling you that it is always good to be busy. Siempre es bueno estar ocupado. Ah, uh, sí, yes, teacher. Welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Bienvenido. Let's see. What else here? Hmm. Still got time. Oh, well, let me explain to you. Today, the class, according to my lesson plan, is uh, vocabulary practice. We are going to work with the manual a little bit, Vamos a trabajar con el manual, but mostly we are going to focus on speaking and doing exercises from the manual, but mostly on the exercise, okay? Not that much in the grammar. We still got some exercises from grammar to cover, but it's not a big deal. Uh, but before we move on, I'm taking the continuar. I guess almost everybody's here. Yes, just Claudia, I'm missing solo Claudia, falta, I need her here. I necesito, because of her minutes, for sus minutitos. Hmm. I will text them. Eh, sorry, guys. Oh, I don't remember. I'm sorry. A lapsus. Eh, perdón, le iba a explicar algo en español. Quería recordarles que el día de ahora creo que recibieron el correo, ¿verdad? De la encuesta de satisfacción. Eh, yes. Yo sé que se los, se los he estado mencionando. Perdón, si parezco repetitivo o aburrido, pero eh, parte de mis obligaciones es recordarle en más de una ocasión que la encuesta de satisfacción la vamos a resolver todos juntos el día lunes en el transcurso de la clase. Por favor, no se me vayan a adelantar. Es un proceso que hacemos juntos. Por lo que les explicaba de que las invitaciones se las voy dando y las vamos resolviendo acá. Eh, el otro recordatorio que tengo que hacerles, porque me lo hicieron también a mí, es la plataforma. Eh, realmente la plataforma para nosotros cerraba ahora. Debido a que yo tuve una, un percance y no pude darle una clase, se nos ha extendido pero por favor, tendríamos que estar trabajando en la medida de lo posible, enfocándonos a terminar el domingo si fuese posible. ¿Ok? Temas a cubrir en eh, grammar, 
there's no more, ya no tenemos. Just the only thing that we have in an annual is the prepositions of place. Those are quite easy. In front of, next to, beside. I guess ya la conocemos. In front of, es de frente, next to, al lado, beside, a un lado, eh, behind, atrás. Eh, and it's the last topic that appears on the platform. Es el último tema que nos aparece en la plataforma. We are going to check it briefly tonight. Lo vamos a ver brevemente este día. Because actually you get more immersed in that in in next module and el próximo módulo se adentran un poquito más en ello. So uh, please do your best, try to finish the platform. Very, very important. And remember that it's mandatory, obligatorio. We need to get 80% minimum. Necesitamos un 80 de nota mínimo in the platform. Okay. So here is the rule of the 80s. Aquí es la regla de los 80. 80% 80 of attendance, 80% of the platform minimum, the same 80% of the attendance minimum, and the third is the encuesta. Los tres requerimientos para aprobar el curso son mínimo 80% de asistencia, mínimo 80% de calificación y la encuesta de satisfacción. Okay. So please don't forget it. I know that I sound repetitive, but it's part of my job. I'm sorry. Eh, sé que suena repetitivo, pero lo siento. Es parte de lo que tengo que hacer. Y they verify that I ask you to do it. Y me verifican que lo hago. Okay. So let's see. Well, let's continue. Activities. Let's see. Let's see. Welcome all of you. Eh, I know that I haven't talked to all of you. No he podido conversar con todos, but welcome, guys. Uh, nice having you here. Wow, believe it or not, we are almost finishing. Creo no, estamos terminando. And as I was explaining to Braulio earlier on today, uh, I am pretty satisfied with the advances I can see in the, in the group. Because, uh, I mean... We've been able to acquire new vocabulary. Uh, I have realized, I have noticed some improvement in the listening, in the listening comprehension, which is good. And in the exercises you do from the manual, I have realized that your reading comprehension is quite good also. And actually you in reading comprehension, you're doing Quite nice. Eh, la lectura comprensiva es un aspecto que tiene bastante bien a la group. Eh, congratulations. And in the speaking, well, the speaking is the hardest, I know. The speaking is the más duro. But, but, if you notice, si nos damos cuenta, even the ones who had previous knowledge of English, o aquellos que tenían un conocimiento previo del inglés, you are speaking more. And if you are not speaking with more vocabulary, you're speaking more fluently. Y si algunos no me están usando mucho nuevo vocabulario, pero si me están hablando con mayor fluidez, then the first week, que en la primera semana. That's, that's a big improvement, believe me. Y eso es un gran avance. Because that's one of the hardest things to get to get students to, to feel confident to speak. And you're doing very well. Uh, I have also noticed in some cases that you are improving not just the speaking, but the pronunciation. And that's because you've been practicing, you've been talking. That's the only way in which we improve pronunciation is through practice. And you have been doing that. Uh, the only part that we are not improving, well, only que no mucho, and for next module, you will be asked from the very beginning. Y para el próximo módulo ya tenemos un anotadito que se va a hacer de esta manera. Le van a dictar desde el inicio una calendarización de cómo se van quedando esos 10 minutos al final de la clase. 
Many times I have told you that muchas veces le he pedido y le digo y le digo, So, those 10 minutes are useful. So, 10 minutes son útiles because it helps us a teacher to help you in some specific uh, details that you need to improve. And I'm going to detail in specific to finish it and what else. That's my personal evaluation of the module. I'm telling you now because on Friday we're going to, on next Monday we're going to be very busy. But today we have the chance to to talk a little bit about those. And as I told you at the beginning, I am very satisfied with your improvements. Congratulations. Uh, this is the hardest. Let us say más duro. Do your best to continue. Okay. El básico uno es el más duro de todos los niveles. Believe me. The hardest ever is basic one. Beginner's one is the hardest. Este es el más complicado. Because of those aspects, you are not used to be speaking in English. You are not used to be listening to someone speaking in English. And on top of that, para agregarlo, eh, the schedule, it's heavy schedule, it's un horario pesado. I know that all of you work and also have personal obligations with your family. I mean, you are sacrificing a lot. Make it worth it. Hagan que valga la pena. How? Keep on continuing. Continue. Don't stop. It's worth it. Lo vale. But to make it worth it, you need to continue. Be constant. It's not easy. No, it's not. But, I mean, if we really want to learn, we need to push it. Don't feel bad if you feel like, man, I feel like I... I'm still speaking a lot in Spanish in the class. It's normal, it's beginner's one. The important part is that I am speaking almost no Spanish in the class. And you are understanding, you are listening and processing what I speak. That's great. That's a big advance. And if you have also noticed, uh, all through the course, the speed in which we are speaking has increased. Right at the beginning, we were the first class, I was speaking like this, louder. I was speaking louder and slowly. And I was like explaining everything to you. Now, if you have noticed, I speak more natural. Actually, this is my regular uh, speed of speaking in English. That's how I speak. That's how I speak in Spanish. So that's my, my normal pattern of speech. And you got used to it. So you're doing good. But the hardest part is to continue, okay? The most difficult situations you encounter in, I told you at the beginning, perdón que use español, se los recuerdo. Los momentos más difíciles del aprendizaje del inglés son el paso entre el básico 1 o el básico 2, el principiante 1 y el principiante 2, y cuando terminamos los intermedios. En el principiante 1 al 2, porque sentimos que, uff, esto está horrible, yo nunca voy a aprender eso. Nah. Don't worry, you are learning. You are. Yes, and I'm learning. It's just a process. A process of practice, repetition. That's the way we do it. I think you're learning. And in the, the final intermediate, el último intermedio no es difícil porque sea complicado. Actually, those ones are easy. Esos son fáciles because at that time you already speak in English. En este momento ustedes ya están hablando en inglés a lot. But the problem is that some people feel like, eh, 
I have studied a long time. I can pick it. That's it. I'm going to be sad. I don't need more time. I don't need more time. I don't I don't need more And the knowledge you get, you acquire in the advance, it's awesome. Y el conocimiento que obtenemos en el avanzado es el que, I mean, is the one that helps us speak better. El que nos ayuda a hablar mejor. To understand better. To communicate in the best of ways. So, those are the hardest moments. You have already passed the first one. Keep on. Continue. Do your best. You are doing good, but... It's practice, as I told you. I know that in some situations it's harder. Yo sé que para algunos se nos hace más difícil. And, well, the edge is the factor that sometimes uh, slows us down. A veces la edad sentimos que como que no nos ayuda. That's normal. I mean, that's a process. The youngest you are, the easiest it becomes. Mientras más joven, más fácil. That's normal. But besides that, uh, everything is possible if you continue practicing. This is practice, practice, practice all the time, as much as possible. Todo el tiempo. Okay. Uh, to some of you, I, I have shared some extra material. I'm going to share some extra material. When the course ends, when the course termina, if you need that extra material or more extra material, text me. Si necesitan más material extra, escríbame in private or in the group, and I will help you, okay? In privado, en el grupo, yo les voy a ayudar. I will give you some extra material, online material that you can check out. It's going to help you. But, Guys, I'm telling you, I'm asking you for you to text me because I forget. Man, daily I have like 11 or 12 classes. Different classes. So I got a lot of students. So, uh, I mean, if you don't remind me, I forget. That's why I got like two agendas because I, I gotta be writing everything. Yes, we were told. So remind me, please feel, uh, I mean, feel free to ask me anytime. Even if I'm not your teacher, you can ask me, no problem. I can help you. But do it. Feel free to do it anytime. Okay? I'm here to help. Now let's continue. And as I was telling you, we are going to work in the manual. We have some very interesting activity. And yesterday we were using adjectives, if you remember positive and negative adjectives. Okay, now I need you to think about the address, the address of your workplace. Vamos a pensar en la dirección de nuestro lugar de trabajo. Okay? The words street and avenue, you use it in English, but the name, it's in Spanish. El, no, la palabra street and avenue, it's in English. The name, the exact name, it's in Spanish. Uh, calle Delgado, Street Delgado, o Delgado Street, Delgado Street, okay? Cuarta Avenida, Fourth Avenue. Remember that in English, it's the other way around. Cambielo. But I need you to think that and a point of reference. Y un punto de referencia. Okay? Because you're going to give to your classmate the address. And now... All the previous classes, I've been asking you about your information. Now I am going to ask you about your partner's information. Y ahora le voy a preguntar de su compañero. So be ready to write down because you are going to write down your partner's uh, workplace address. Okay? So the question you're going to ask is very simple. 
the question you are going to ask is are very simple. It's where do you work? And where is it? Where is it located? Okay, those are the two questions we are going to use. Where do you work? Where is it located? You need to take notes. You will have 10 minutes for that activity because you are going to be working in a little bit in groups of three or four members, okay? Let me check. Groups are created. Let me just check a little something. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. nombre mm, ah, pues en grupo homing Ajá. yes just the name but use english come on <laughs> catering farmacias la vida no Okay. Soy homie. impulsadora. Ah, okay, homie, entonces. Homie group, sí. Sí, o homie nada más, o homie SASB. Bueno, creo que los tres trabajamos en el mismo lugar. <risa> The next question. La otra, ¿cómo era? La localizada. Teacher. Hello. Where is it located? Ah, okay, thank you. Where is it located? Brian. Where is this located? ¿Cuál es su ubicación? Pero yo no me lo puedo. No sé. No, no sé qué, cómo, cómo se llama. 
Avenida... Avenida San Marcos. Highway to San Marcos. Colony America. Colonia. Or ¿Cómo? America, America Neighborhood. Oh. America Neighborhood. End of San Salvador. In front of Alpine Water. Ah, no, perdón. <laughs> Alpine. Yes, because it's a given noun. Como es un nombre propio, you don't change nothing. Remember, you can use the chat, this chat, to, to share your address so your classmate can copy down. Usted puede usar el chat de acá para compartirle info a los compañeros, ¿ok? Hey, you got the info. I don't usually see you in big screens. You got the info. You Atenas got the info. Ahí sí, ya me perdí. Oyuelos. Ay, no se había fijado, piche. I don't usually, I don't usually see you this close. No suelo verlos tan, tan cerca. Because in the, in the big room I got everybody. And I was like this close and I was like, oh, she's got. And that's funny. The good thing is that you don't. Siempre que you me río sale. Yeah. The good thing is that you don't blush. Do you know what is to blush? Blush? Blush is when you get red here. No, no uso. No, 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 no. ¿Qué? <laughs> blush, blush es eso, sonrosarte. Ajá, por eso no uso. Es natural. Yeah. Nice. I need to get under the sun. Yo lo que me soleo. Uh, no, yo sí camino, me asoleo y todo me salen más. Parezco tomate. <laughs> It's because of your skin. Let's see. Hey. Brian. Brian is white skin, right? Yeah, light skin. Catherine is brunette. Es... I remember, sí. I remember seeing Catherine. Creo que me acuerdo haberla visto once or twice. ¿A mí? Yeah. Haberme okay. visto el qué? Here la in cara. the class. Yeah. <laughs> We are talking about the skin. Hablamos de la piel. Ah. Mi piel está bien cansada ahorita. Por... <laughs> Como que se me hubieran pasado dos trenes así. <laughs> That's so funny. I win. Yo le gano. A mi compañera le gusta la lluvia, pero a mí no. A usted también oh. le gusta, ¿verdad, profe? Pero a mí I no. I love it. A mí me encanta. Ay, pero mojarse, venir en moto. Sentir que la gota duele. Sí. Eso es malo, Be es cierto. Before, before pandemics, antes de la pandemia, uh, I used to finish teaching solía terminar yo de dar clases en a town called San Pedro por la Pan, pueblo de San Pedro por la Pan, actually like uh, three blocks from Xiomara House, como tres cuadras de la casa de Xiomara. Okay, I used to finish teaching at 4:15, los 4:15. At that time in the motorcycle, I had to go to San Jose Villanueva. A esa hora salía de acá. I mean, that's in Cuscatlán. To San Jose Villanueva. La Libertad. By Zaragoza. And around to teach one hour. Lo va a dar una clase. Una hora. And come back. From there, I was arriving home. Estaba llegando a casa 9, 9.30. In winter. En invierno. That was beautiful. Believe me, beautiful. 
because uh, when you are passing by Santa Tecla, man, it's cool. Uh, right before Santa Tecla, un poquito antes de Santa Tecla, super helado. Mm -hmm. And when it rains in that street, it's like, ooh. So, cuando llueve ahí, es divertido. So, I understand you. Cuando cae granizo, ya me imagino los grandes golpes que le da a uno. Muy no, re regular raindrops part. Las gotas de lluvia normal duelen. Sí, es cierto. Por, por la velocidad. Yeah. Sin importar que vaya usted muy ligero, en las manitas se siente feo. Y yeah. si no lleva capa, es bien difícil incluso ver. Cuando y no uno... se puede ver, es cierto. Uh -huh. yeah, no, Tiene no, que venir no. uno despacio, aguanta más el agua. Yeah, but you have to drive slow, like 80, 90, I can manage it, lento, 80, 90. Pero si hubiera venido a bus, no hubiera venido ahora. Yeah. <laughs> no hubiera venido mañana. <laughs> yeah, traveling by bus is more difficult. Let me go check the rest of the groups. Grupo, sí, ya terminó. Hi, Hello. Hello. Okay, second, second South Avenue. Second ah. South Avenue. Perdón, okay. Uh, today I, I was just using the translator. <laughs> okay, second South Avenue. In okay. English, remember you changed. Yes. Okay. El adjetivo okay. describe algo del nombre. El nombre es la avenida. Lo otro está describiendo. Second South okay. Avenue. In front of the Catholic Catholic Church. Teacher, y cuando queremos decir el, el número al final, por ejemplo. ¿Cómo sería? Repeat, please. Repítame lo último. Eh, eh, sí. Palma del Figueroa, Colonia América, Cosmos, Pasajes, 6396. 7396. Pepi. El número era de, eh, la cifra era de cuatro números, divídalo en partes. En, okay. Entonces, así se pronunciaría. Yes. Yes. ¿Cómo sería? Divided, <laughs> if the number is like in the year. We are in the year 2022. Estamos yeah. en el año 2022, right? So you divide mm -hmm. it into. Sería entonces este 63 63. Sí, verdad? 660 es 60. Yeah. 63 and 96. Yeah. Okay. 90, 90. Yeah. Oh, 90, 90. So how can I say, uh, Sería. In English, I'm sorry? How can I say Centro Comercial Plaza Merliot? Plaza Merliot Mall. That's a mall. It's just a mall. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Okay, let's see. Athena, tell me about one of your classmates' workplace address, please. Okay. Brian work in Homi SASB. Mm -hmm. Catherine work in Homi SASB. Uh, it's located in Highway, Highway to San Marcos. San Marcos Amer Highway. Oh, okay. Okay, San no, no, Marcos. no, no, no. On the San Marcos Highway, no. On the highway to San Marcos, yes. On the highway to San Marcos. Highway to San Marcos. America neighborhood. And San Salvador in front of Alpino. In front of Alpino. Perfect, thank you. Catherine, your turn. Tell me about one of your classmates. Lo mismo, profe. No, tell me about Atenas. Uh, pero, bueno. Uh, where do you work? Homey Group. Uh -huh. And where is it located? Uh, San Marcos. And the Hillway. Colony America, San Salvador. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Gracias. Let's see, Rebecca. Uh, my locator mm -hmm. is the world. No, your Till, classmates. Um, Kathy. For Avenue, so local eleven B, Choyapango. Eleven B, Choyapango. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see, Marvin. Where's Where's Marvin? Marvin. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Okay, tell me about one of your classmates. Is Marixa a locator or? Yeah. Yes. My word locator is in Santa Tecla, local three, Portales, second, street, I am from, of Mercado Municipal. Perfect, in front of Mercado Municipal. Great, you use the point of reference, that's nice. Gabriela, tell me about one of your classmates, please. Hi, teacher. Este, <clears throat> Raulio work at Pomi SRCB. He's a Figueroa, and of Colonia Melta, a San Cosmos, number 66, 96, uh, okay. on the highway to San Marcos. Perfect. Excellent. And uh, Lily <clears throat> works in Farmacia La Vida Lo Urba. He's a on. Second Soul Avenue in front of Catholic Church uh, in Lourdes, Colombia, La Libertad. Catholic, Catholic. Catholic, Catholic Church. Ese, esa TH suena como que fuera una Z, Catholic. Catholic. Perfect. Sí. Excellent. Sí. Well, guys, next exercise. Teacher, the second attendant. 
Oh, thank you, my dear. Appreciate it. Ana Marixa Flores Carbillo. Present. Angélica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present, teacher. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Present, teacher. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Thank you. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayo. Thank you, Esmeralda. Present. Present, Karen teacher. Bill. Karen, thank you, Saraí. Karen de Sireme Kibar de Sánchez. Present. Thanks. Catherine Beatriz Morales Carcadilla. Present. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present, teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present, teacher. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present, teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. ¿Cómo está? Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca de Carmen Morales Molina. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present teacher. Ok. Thank you. Okay. Prepositions of place. We have here, look, oh, 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 well, before that, under this. We have here an exercise. We have an employee information name, Mauricio Quintanilla, office, main phone, 7203 9164, workplace, Arrows Technology Company, address. On Roosevelt Street and First Avenue, number 8453, Santa Cecilia, San Salvador. Job position, software designer, department, production, ID MQ108358. Okay, now. Uh, we need to check if it's correct or incorrect, but something that I want to explain before to you is this. Uh, we say the number, el numero cero. In this case, when we are giving like a, like an address or a cell phone number, you say O, O. Okay. We use the word zero when we are talking about mathematics, okay? When we talk about mathematics, we use zero. Otherwise, we say O. Like if I tell you, oh, my cell phone number is 6060. You hear? 6060. So, the exercise, you need to say if the information is correct or incorrect, but that exercise, you're going to do it on your own. Right now, I want to focus on the prepositions of place. And I'm going to share again with you from the manual. But now we go to page number 46. How to use prepositions of this? We have, where is the park located? It is located among many places, among. Now, in English, we have, the problem is not English. The problem is Spanish. The problem is that in Spanish, entre means two different things. 
Entre significa rojo satisfecho. Sometimes we use the word entre to say, eh, a veces lo utilizamos para decir en medio de, or to be specific, uh, when you have three and the, there's one in the middle, okay, we use entre. A veces lo utilizamos para decir, eh, hay tres cosas, tres lugares, el que está en medio, es decir, ¿verdad? Decimos entre, pero entre todos los alumnos, we use the same word, right? Utilice la misma palabra. And I'm talking about more than two, more than three. Pero estoy hablando de más de tres. Now, what's the difference? In English, we have between. Between is like this, like uh, Like for me to say, the green marker, the green marker, el marcador verde, is between the blue ones. You see, está entre los azules. Simple, right? Muy simple. But now I tell you. Uh, I got a red pen. Tengo un lapicero. Rojo. But that let's see, can you hear me? Yeah. But now, if you notice, is among. Si se dan cuenta, está en medio de. So, we use among when we are talking about many. And between when we are just talking between two. El between se utiliza cuando hablamos entre dos. En medio de dos. Among, en medio de más de dos. Okay? Is it clear? ¿Se entendió? Yep. Let's continue then. So where is the park located? It's located among many places. Where is the sport palace located? It's located on various street in front of the park. Where is the mall located? It's located near the restaurant. Where is the church? It's located past the school. Okay. You need to complete the conversations using a preposition from the box. Go to page 89 and look at the map. We have along, a lo largo de, in front of, de, behind, atrás de, next to, al lado de, between, ya dijimos que era, across, al cruzar, past, pasando, under, abajo de. Okay, so you need the map that is in page number 39. We are talking about this map. Okay, so this is the first that you need in order to solve the exercises. And the exercises are these four sentences. You need to complete it using one preposition from the box. So I'm going to send you the map right now so you can have it handy. And here you go. Ahí lo and besides the map, además del mapa, I'm going to send you the, the exercise. We need to, we need to do. So you will have five minutes for this exercise. Please guys, jump in.
Ah, son las, son las preguntas que dice this for. Ahorita veo, pero. Por para is. Okay. Ah, por para is. Veamos a dónde va, para. Es por para, o sea, barrios, street. Entonces sería. Um, Uh, in front in Oh. Eh, barrio, ¿cómo se llama eso? Barrio Street, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál? El, ¿La primera? Eh, Espera. Me perdí entonces, es de colocar la, para lo que está en la de arriba, pero después algo más. A ver. La iglesia. Ahí está a un costado entonces. Oh, where is it? Eh, number two. Yes, the where? Oh, next to, on the side. I don't know what it's en un costado, what's that? <laughs> sí, por decir eso.
Okay, guys. Let me read the answers for you, okay? So, the sport palace is next to the bank. Okay. Number two, the city hall is between the church and book world. I repeat, the city hall is between the church and book world. Number three, the restaurant is along First Avenue. The restaurant is along First Avenue. And number four, the church and the city hall are in front of the park. I repeat, the church and the city hall are in front of the park. I hope all of you got it like that. Espero que todos lo tengan así, right? No. La primera. Number one. The sport palace is next to the bank. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, let's see. Now, now we are going to talk about ourselves. And we are going to use simple present, okay? We are going to be asking ourselves and the group these three questions. Okay, it's something I am sure you don't know that much about. Yo sé que esto no conocen ustedes mucho. What is stress? What causes stress? How do you recognize stress in your life? Maria Teresa says, I don't recognize it. I don't have stress. Never. Okay, so the questions, what is stress? What causes the threat? How do you recognize the threat in your life? Those three questions are the ones that you're going to be asking your classmates, okay? Remember, ask an answer. I need you to take note of your classmates' answer on the third question. Tome nota de la respuesta de sus compañeros en la tercera pregunta, okay? How do you recognize the threat in your life? So groups are open. Why is this strange? The is... I don't know, she says. She doesn't know. Ah, oh, solo saber si lo conozco. What is this? No, le digo que María Teresa dice que ella ni conoce eso. Ah, pobrecita está cansada. <laughs> Eh, María Teresa, se me fue. María, me oí. Perdón, no escuchaba. Se me había apagado el apífono. Ah. 
Hola, hola. Así. Que no escucho. María Teresa, ¿can you hear? Ah, yo pensé que yo era la que. María Teresa. ¿Can you hear? Hola. No sé. There she is. She's asleep. Se nos durmió. No, no sé qué pasó. With, with the eyes open, she's like. How do you do that? Volví a la vida, no sé qué pasó. Tell me, how do you manage to do that? ¿Cómo le hace para eso? Para dormirse con los ojos abiertos. Yeah, yeah, that's an ability, an special no. ability. Wow, awesome. No, no, no sé qué pasó, lo siento. I was, I was even like jumping. No, here, ayuda, like... ayuda. <laughs> What do you Uh -huh. Quiero ver. Sería mm, estado de ánimo. Estoy estresado. Por el teacher. Oh. Ooh. Which one? Ooh. I'm not here. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Ana Maritza siempre me corre, I'm gone, bye. I cannot sleep at night. I cannot. I cannot sleep at night. Sleep at night. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, Raul, you tell me. Yo les explicaba a mis compañeros. Yo que me siento estresado cuando el compañero. Cuando el compañero hace mal su trabajo. When the co-worker doesn't do his job properly. Can you write, please? Okay, well, you always make make me write the operator. How can I write? How can I
we're just waiting for everybody to be back. Okay, let's see, let's see. Desire, tell me. Uh, yes. How do you identify when you are stressed? Uh, I identify stress in a uh, uh, strain. In uh, ansiedad, ansiedad, como se dice, como anxiety, se anxiety, 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 insomnio, uh -huh. and how do you say dolor de cabeza? Headache, headache, headache. De esa manera lo identifico. Okay, well, interesting. Yeah, insomnia is terrible. Thank you. Now, Katia, what about you? How do you identify when you're stressed? Um, yo lo reconozco por each face, each face, nervous tic. Y no te sleep. Okay. You get the nervous tick. Mm. Uh -huh. En el ojito. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Wow. Interesting. Now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. Rebecca, your turn. How do you identify when you are stressed? Um, I recon recognize the stress in me. Um, if she face trembling hem and mouth. Mouth. Oh, really? Yes. Mouth. That's interesting. Yes. And let's see, Xiomara, what about you? How do I identify when you are stressed? Xiomara dijo, teacher. Yep, Xiomara, I said. Uh, and help, that help, help chest and neck pain. Mm, neck pain, pain. Neck pain. Yep, neck pain. Well, guys, neck pain. Yeah. time's over, believe it or not. So let me get the final attendance so you can go to rest, all of you, with the exception of Katia. Katia, I need a second, okay? At the end of the class. Okay, guys. Uh, Ana Maritza Flores Servillon. Present. Angelica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Present. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Present. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Thank you, Esmeralda. Appreciate it. Gabriela Guadalupe Salaya Sayas. Present. Karen Desiree Mengibar de Sánchez. Present. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Present. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present, teacher. Thank you. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present, teacher. 
Milton Antonio García Castellano, Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present, teacher. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. En Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present, teacher. Okay, guys. I hope you have a nice weekend. Don't forget to work in the platform. Please finish it, finish it. And if you got any question, ask me. See you Monday. Don't forget, we have the final class on Monday. Ultima class in lunes, okay? So okay. I'll be waiting for you. Bye-bye, have a good night. Bye-bye, good night. Bye-bye, good night. Bye, guys, good night. take care. Good night, teacher, bye-bye. Good night, teacher, bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Teacher, bye, bye. bye guys, bye, bye. bye Brian. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice seeing you, Ana Maritza. Good night. Have a good night. Oh, Katia, Katia, Katia. Hello, Katia. Hello, teacher. <laughs> How are you? Very, very good. Maybe okay, I'm... that's <laughs> nice, that's nice. Let me see, hold on. Yeah. Are you working on your cell phone, right? Como me dijo, repite. Está trabajando de un cell phone. Sí, desde celular. Tengo una laptop, pero me cuesta algo ocuparla para ingresar en Zoom. Okay. <coughs> Let's see, I'm going to share with you something. Le voy a compartir con usted algo that will mm -hmm. help you to do exercise. Mm. Es un video. No. It's mm. many. Hay muchos. Si te das cuenta, por ahí aparece de la, la C, de la D a la H. Those videos are related to the culture in the United States. Now, if you open like the men's health, I you know if it's a men's health, yellow view? Yes, I know. Yeah. Okay. Go where it says see video activity. The lady on this is see video activity. Yeah, there's a video. Be. Okay, mm -hmm. there's a video. Abajo del video se va a encontrar uh, como unas preguntas de complementar y tres opciones. Tienes mm -hmm. que send to the video, watch the video y escoger cuál es la correcta. Mm -hmm. Al final usted va a encontrar donde dice video script. Se baja. El video script mm -hmm. es, usted le da play nuevamente el video, se viene rapidito corriendo ahí y lo que vaya escuchando lo puede ir leyendo. Mm -hmm. Y luego le da, al darle back to culture videos, lo manda nuevamente al inicio. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Ok. That's going to help you to improve in vocabulary. Eso le va a ayudar a mejorar en vocabulario. And also in pronunciation, because you are going to listen to Americans speaking English. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. I, hope, Ay, hoy te I hope it is useful for you. Espero que les sirva. I recommend, if you get into it, si se mete ellos, si tiene tiempo, one per day, no more. ¿Ok? Uno diario. Because it's very important for you to remember. Es muy importante que recuerden ustedes trabajan, estudian, su casa y todo. Five to mm -hmm. ten minutes stops. Aparte de lo que son las clases, de cinco a diez minutos máximo. ¿Ok? Mm, ok. Y esos son varios videos que aparecen ahí, me dijo. Mm, yep, Todos yep. los días puedo estarlo viendo y estar así haciendo yeah. ejercicio. Yeah, you can do one different per day. Ah, mm, um, vaya. 
Al terminarlo me dijo video script, abajo dice back to culture videos, me regreso otra vez a la página yep. inicial. Ya, yep, exactly. Okay. I hope you enjoy Pero it. Eso... That's extra. Este es un material extra And... que te comparto. And... Okay, sí. I mean, it's, it's for you to practice, for you to improve. Este, lo que sucede es que estoy observado de que en esa área como que le está costando un poquito el vocabulario sí, porque usted no maneja sí, estructura me bueno, eso le va a ayudar uh -huh. eso le va a permitir mejorar en ese sorry en el café so try it pruébelo you will notice the, the, the advance para dar cuenta de los avances sí y eso And, que escucho seguido yeah but En este contexto es diferente porque le pone un video, luego le pone preguntas para ver qué comprendimos, mm. y por último le pone el texto de lo que se iba hablando en el video para que usted reconozca, ah, era esta palabra la que no entendía, o ah, así se pronuncia esta palabra. Mm. Esto le va a ayudar en varios aspectos. Ah, pues sí, sí, sí. <risa> Yeah. Ah, pues no es lo mismo escuchar que desarrollar el ejercicio. Of que course. Nunca es lo mismo. Cuando usted desarrolla el ejercicio, pues su mente comienza a trabajar más y a concentrarse más. Y nuestra mente, al ah. ser adulto, está enfocada en resolver las cuestiones. Uh -huh. O sea, no es que nos guste, pero nuestra mente automáticamente busca cómo resolver. Así okay. es. <risa> es un recurso que sí. le comparto. Espero le sirva. Ok. Gracias, Have a good teacher. night. No, thanks Thank to you. Bye-bye. Good night. Adiós, teacher. Bye. Well, time's over. See you Monday. Bye-bye.